Right, today I've got a mixed shopping haul. Now, I did do this last week um, due to the fact I had to go and pick up my prescription um, before we went away for the weekend. So, I thought that I would do this now. Obviously, all the pieces should still be available um, if you're interested. Um, so, I think what I'll do is I'll start off with the card factory. I picked up two items. Um, the first one I picked up for our eldest son and granddaughter, actually, with Father's Day coming up, and it's these socks here. So we've got men's size socks is UK 8 to 11, and then kids' size age 3 to 7. So the little girls' ones may be a little bit on the large size, because um, she's um, about three and a half now. So... Um, I'm not sure, but I think they are so sweet. So you got like um, um, Giggle Monster is for you know the dad, and Snuggle Monster is for the little girl or the daughter. And I understand they also do um, two blue pairs as well um, if you've got a little boy. So there we are. So these were one ninety nine. Now originally that's all I was going to purchase. Um, Poundland does this, a lot of stores do, um, that they have things um, for sale near the cashier. And the same is chocolates from Mother's Day. Now these have got mum on, make just a nice little gift anyway. It doesn't have to be um, for Mother's Day because it doesn't actually say Mother's Day, it just says mum. Or I can take them out and I think these were originally something like £2.60 or something. But they were selling these off for 62 pence. Even if I was to take them out of the packaging, our wedding anniversary is coming up as well. So um, I could put them in a little bag, you know, and a little um, like um, spa sort of um, treatment with a bug bath for hubby, some chocolates, a candle, that sort of thing. But um, they don't have to be. But even with mum on, I think that would make a lovely little um, gift. Um, I mean, failing that, I mean, you could even cover over the mum if you really wanted to with something or um you know just change it around but or just take it out of the packaging so i thought that was really good and you've got quite a few chocolates in there so for 62 pence they had a large variety of different chocolates um but i just picked up the one because personally myself i'm not supposed to be eating that much sweet stuff anyway if any um as you can see, I am home now, so yes, we had a lovely weekend, and I will get to all the comments. I know I've fallen behind, as I am actually falling behind actually getting my um, video sorted and uploaded. I did do a fair bit of videoing, as we normally do when we're away in the caravan anyway, because it's just a change of scenery. Right, the next one is obviously the works, because these are all in the same facility as where I get um, vicinity as I go to the chemist so the first one is this one it's make it happen so um, do excuse the wrestle I'm just uh, going to take it out the um, polythene and this was um, reduced down to a pound I've had a lot of clearance things so this is really really nice so you have got yeah quite a few sheets actually of paper Look, you see that and then you've got these different um pockets which i think is really nice great for um anything actually whether it's good ideas um projects anything like that if you do youtube you know and you can put different things in I've had this sort of thing before and um, say at Christmas time, you know, if you haven't got a Christmas plan or something, you can do all your notes and you've got a place then for recipes, maybe receipts or anything like that. Especially if you're maybe, um, you know, doing a party or something, you can have everything in one place. So um, that is that. And I said it's got this, make it happen. So great if you've got a project because you can got a place for receipts and everything and making notes and things like that. And say that was a pound. Um, I'll do all the little 
clearance things because this is the same section I got on before. This is a repeat buy. I've already bought one of these, but I think they're very good priced. And you could easily make these yourself, actually. And these were um, reduced down to 50p for eight. So I've got these. So this is the second lot I've got of these. And these are good for any projects and card making. Um, these were 75p for a pack of five wooden embellishments. Not always know what I'm going to use them for, but it's really good to have these in. And you know when you're doing those boxes and everything, that you can also get wooden boxes um, from the works and you can decorate them, paint them and anything. These will look nice also with a name or something on it. And this one is also 50 pence. And I would have liked another one of these because I think these are really good. And these are six butterfly embellishments. Um, I probably at some point will, you know, on my desk, show you a closer look at those but there's six in there and I think they are look really really expensive so that's those I like getting things in because I like doing little um, gift baskets or little stationary things you know a pen pot a pen pencil rule or something like that notelets um, even the cardboard holders, I've got quite a few of those organisers that I got for reduced for a pound from Wilco's in the past and you can um, put all different bits in. These were 50 pence each and I bought the two here. Um, things I need to remember and I like using, keeping these sort of things up, especially when it hasn't actually got Christmas or any occasion on there because I can put these in like Easter baskets and Christmas stockings and it's of an elephant, if you can see that. And I say I've got two of those because I get through a lot of notelets, I do. Um, a few um, full um, price items. There's this travel one. Again, this is probably something when I sit at my desk, I can give you um, a closer look at it, like a couple of things in the past I've brought over the weekend and everything. But what I like about this is say it says travel and it's just got all like maps. And I think this is really good also for mail cards. And if you're doing any scrapbook in it as well. It's lilac or purple. So I love anything like this. Um, so for mail cards and everything. So that's that. So that was a pound. Um, I try to limit paper, buying paper pads as much as I can, but if I happen to see one that's sort of totally different to what I got, um, I will purchase it, but I try and keep it to a minimum. But what I tend to do is I take some of it sometimes into my craft group and um, I'm getting little bits together so I can send, um, you know, subscribers through the post different items that I know or believe they would use um, especially you crafters out there if I've got your addresses and things like that and especially if there's something you can't get this is something um, I've got three of three different ones two of them I've had before and they're two pounds each and it's these card boxes um, gift card boxes or you can money wallets again I probably could give you a closer look at these but I have actually shared these before so you make little envelopes and there is on the front and then at the back it does have um, sort of all your embellishments there. So that's that one. As I said, I was looking out for the um, 3D booklets for card making, but they haven't got any. This pillow gift box one, um, I have made quite a few of these. And this was the very first one I actually purchased. I managed to get another one. Then at the back, it's got the embellishments again at the back. And that just gives you an idea what you can do. And then this one I hadn't seen before. So I picked this one up um, due to the fact that, as I said, I haven't seen this one in the past. Um, and it's some beautiful um, papers in there to make envelopes and everything um, and there it is again and then it should have the embellishments at the back uh, 
it like so. So as I say, I hadn't had this one. I've had the other two previously, but I haven't had this one. So that is what I got from the works. And the last little bit I got from Poundland. Now, we have started using one of these shampoos, so I picked another one up, so I've got it in my um, stash. As soon as I like two or three of products um, in my stash at home, my toiletries, just in case we're running short, because then I can replenish at the caravan as well. I love this Juicy Green Apple shampoo, so we've gone back onto this. I think it depends on the time of year. We finished the Vosine one, so we decided to go back to this one. I think the other one was Raspberry Kiss or something like that, but I've had quite a lot. I happened to see this at the cashiers and had to get it. You know me and these bags. Um, there we are, this um, Snoopy. It says new collection. I haven't, as I said, I go in occasionally now to Poundland. Normally, if I'm up that way or need to go to the chemist or um, doctor's surgery or something like that, I will pop in. And as you know, I like to roll these things up as um, gifts. And I've said this before, you roll it up. And I always get them so they're um, for particular people, like the guys I've bought things like DC and Marvel, that sort of thing. Put that with a ribbon in and I've even stuck those, as I said before, in Easter baskets or say in Christmas stockings. So they could put the contents of the stocking in the bag and I can have the stocking straight back because I'm not so um, precious about the bags but I like the stockings back so that's that and that was a pound um, I hadn't with my with the plants in um, Poundland and I'm talking about the artificial ones it's a bit hit and miss as you know I got this plant pot and I think this one was three pounds and I got a few around the home that I've actually shared that I got um, from Poundland as well and I got a couple of um, plants from Home Bargains artificial ones and I got them from Wilco's. So yeah, I've been looking at, and I know the range got some nice ones, but I didn't pick any up um, this weekend or the last weekend we was away before that. But I have got some pots here and they have got um, succulents in. So the first one is just a pot. It was £1.50. It is pottery and I like this. And if you can notice the, the colour scheme in my lounge or even my dining room even the games room this would fit in because it's black and I do have a lot of sort of the um, gold and bronzy sort of colours as well so I thought this was really good and as I said sometimes I can just use a plant and change it from pot to pot depending on the season but this specifically could go in my kitchen dining room lounge and games room so there's quite a few rooms this pot could go in I mean you don't even need to use it for um, plants you can put your toiletries or something in standing on the bath or something if you've got room to do that um, so I just like that but my bathroom's not actually this colour cloakroom is though um, my cloakroom's got touches of cream black and the gold so again that's another room so there's quite a few rooms this could go in right I've got two of these in different colours. These actually were a pound each, which I was very surprised at. So the first one is this pottery grey one with like the wooden legs. It is quite chalky, so it does come off on your hands. Um, but I suppose you could spray it, but it doesn't bother me anyway. So I've got this grey one. Again, this can go in so many different rooms, but I specifically thought it would look nice in our bedroom as I said I'm trying to bring greenery around a home even if it is um say um fake as such you know um and I thought this was a pretty good one especially from a distance and I think that is really sweet so I've got that in the grey I ummed and died about this they had it in the pale green and I'm not sure if they had it in cream um but I did get it in the pink and I know I've got quite a lot of bits of pink. The only room I've really got pink is my cubby and I have been collecting a sort of array of the different um, 
plants. If I go back and I've got the green one, I may pick the green one up as well. Um, but as I said, I've got quite a few um, uh, like these um, artificial um, plants in the um, cubby due to the fact there's no window, there's no real natural light. I do have the um, back door opposite me with um, obviously a glass window in but there's no actual natural light that gets in there so these sort of things just you know bring a bit of um, decor in and a bit of um, I call it life into the room as I said to break up my pink and white and everything so yeah and I quite like things like that and again this one's a slightly different plant as you can see the two different ones so I'm, I can't remember because they didn't have that many whether it depends on the colour pot to what the plant looks like but I really do like this type of plant in there so as I said again a pound and the last item I bought and this one was three pounds if I got this one right yeah best thing is about these they do have the tickets on is this one yes it's another plant pot um, artificial again I got it in the cream with this white dotted um, sort of plant pot it's on a fixed wooden stand it's got two plants in there with the stones now again this can go into a number of different rooms because most of our rooms most of all the room all the rooms yeah have got a cream background so it can go almost anywhere and I thought this would also look nice on my bookcase um, right near the back doorway as well so and I, I just think that is really good and for three pounds I thought that was really really good so there we are so I'm really pleased so as you know this is what I've gone on for but I have promised myself I'm going to get rid of some of my older decor and I'm putting, I'm not swapping out my decor as much now. Um, I've got a couple of cushion covers that I've got to change out. Now I'm back home for coming into the summer months now. Um, but I'm trying to keep it, um, maybe, dare I say, a little bit decluttered if I can. Um, not so cluttered. Um, but I wanted all the plants around because this is usually the largest stint I've got before I change my decor. I think the next one possibly is dare I say Halloween so we're talking autumn time September Halloween October and things like that so these are the longest months I've got without having to change decor unless in the past one I've done a party or something like that or a special occasion so that is all that I have got for this mini um, mixed haul I thoroughly love the pieces and quite a few of these pieces um, are actually going to other people. Um, the main ones that I've kept keeping myself is actually, except for probably the bag, um, everything else from Poundland is mine. Everything else is near enough are going out somewhere else. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.